Now, I personally have no problems whatsoever paying our taxes, paying our fair share of taxes. A lot of people try to cheat and they try to make the amount that they're making lower, which I would never, ever recommend. That would be illegal. And as well, if you want buying power, you want to be able to show every dime of revenue that you have is accounted for. I say that because if you want to get a car or a loan for a house, which is something we're in the process of buying right now, you have to have a good rating with the bank. You have to be able to show a set amount of income to be able to get a mortgage. It just They're not just going to give you one. So uh, the biggest problem with anybody being self-employed is it's almost impossible without having good numbers to be able to have the bank work for you. Our bank works for us. Because I keep so much in the bank, I follow the rules, I report everything, I have no problem paying my taxes. Don't try to evade it, it's going to get you in trouble. If this is how you pay your bills, how you put a roof over your head, don't do something stupid to save a few bucks in taxes. It's not worth it. It will hurt you at the bank if you want to buy your own property, buy a, a building or a warehouse, whatever you happen to be looking for. You need to be able to show that you've got good revenue and a steady stream of it over multiple years. You can't even get a home loan without running a business, a self-employed business, for at least two years. That's the usual. Obviously, there may be some oddball circumstances where someone may be able to do better. Maybe they've got the money and can pay cash or whatever the case may be. But that is the point on filing your taxes and being honest with what's going on to get that leverage with the bank. Because you're going to come to a point where you want your own house, you want a warehouse, you want a, a big farm with storage facilities so you can do pallets or whatever you want to do. That's what we've been looking for. You need to have those numbers reported accurately, fairly, and legally right off the bat. Don't screw around. It's going to do you far better to report everything so that your numbers look solid, look good for at least two plus years. We've been doing this for a while, so our numbers look better and better each year we do this. We figured out how to save and all that stuff. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.